we get to Nelly here, and I'm gonna show you a new technique today that I've known for a while. I don't use it too often, but there is a time when this can help you catch some pretty good fish, and it's really, really, really fun to do. So we got our swim bait here, our uh, Tsunami 7-inch swim shad. We're gonna go put it to work. I don't see any fish around here, so we're gonna go over the technique a little bit. Actually, there's some mullet right in there. So what it is, drop your lure in the water, and you're just doing figure eights like this. And if you go slow, there ain't a whole lot of action. So that fish can come in, investigate it, see your line, see you, whatever's going on. But if you speed it up, it makes that water so rough, looks like there could already be another fish chasing it. And that fish has no chance of seeing your line or you. And you're just gonna get that reaction strike where they just know something's going on. And they wanna eat that little injured bait fish that's running for its life. There's some jacks, there's some jacks, some nice jacks. Got him, got him, got him. There you go, that's how figure eighting's done. Oh! All right, let's get him up. That was sick. Let's get him back in there and we'll see if we can get another one real quick. Thumped the Tsunami Swim Jig 7 inch. Shoot him back in. Oh, look at him, look at him. Look at him. Oh! Let's try to do one hand again. Close to the eye. Oh, God, that's a stud. Stud. Absolute stud. Gotta get off from that piling. Oh! Whoa, come on! Woo! Stud jack. Oh man, another one just ate it. They're gonna break my swim bait. Oh! All right, all right, we're not gonna flip, the, flip them with the rod. Look at the line. These things got good hooks on them. Look at that jack, guys. Figure eighting at its finest right there. That is a nice fish. Stud jack on the figure eighting technique on the seven inch swim jig or swim shot. I don't know why I always call it that. Let's get him back in there. So now we got Nick out here. Nick's gonna give it a shot. See if he can get one on the figure eighting. Are you ready? Let's do it. There you go, there you go, Jack on. Oh, there's a couple with him. See, that's a bigger one. See the bigger one behind him? Perfect release. Oh, oh, then, yeah, he's got him. Nick's got him. Oh, get it back in there. Real tighter. Oh. <laughs> Is that a good one? That one's a little bigger. Whatever, dude, I don't care. Just keep catching them. That's the cool part, the figure eight. A... Do short ones, because then you can get them all fired up on it, all close together. Yeah, like that. <laughs> You're not gonna go back to work.
Oh! Come here. There he is, there he is. He ate it. Just keep his head up. And we got him. Look at that. Such a fun way, guys. I am not kidding you. So jacks are fun to start with, but to get them to smoke a swim bait like that at your feet in a frenzy is absolutely awesome. So that wraps it up, just catching some jacks. I did have that one snook that turned on it, but uh, the water got real cold. I don't really think there's a ton of snook around in here right now, but I'm gonna be coming back and trying this when the snook and the reds are around and get what a lot more people consider game fish, even though the jacks are uh, definitely one of my favorite fish to catch. They're so strong, tons of fun. Again, real Tsunami Salt X 4000 rods, Tsunami Carbon Shield 7 foot 6, and lure is the Tsunami Swim Shad 7, uh, seven inch. Oh, and even Tsunami Fluorocarbon Line. So we're all tsunami out today, guys. Couple little triple tails this piece of wood. They're not worth catching, but I'll show them to you guys. That's pretty cool. Always got to go up to anything you see floating. Oh, we stuck one. I don't know what we got. It's turning us though. Look at that tarpon coming up. Oh, look at that tarpon. Holy crap. Woo! Now that was unexpected. I came out here looking for cobias. We're switching it up now. We're tarpon fishing. Let's see if we, we got this three ounce jig right here. We're gonna see if we can get one. So now that's gonna wrap up the video for you. A little bonus after the figure eight fishing is the Sea Dew Fish Pro. Uh, again, I got that Route One Motorsports. Definitely go in there, check them out. Really cool guys if you're interested in looking at one of those things. Now, the tarpon, that was not at all what I expected. I hooked a fish on the bottom. I was so sure it was a Kobe. I was palming the reel, putting a ton of pressure on, trying to stop him from breaking me off on the bottom. And a lot of times with Kobe, when you do that, they start swimming up. So this fish started swimming up. Then it started swimming up a whole lot faster than Kobe and came flying out of the water. And I just think I had too much pressure on him and popped him off. But it was a nice 100 pound class tarpon or so. Uh, really windy, cold out there right now, as you can see. But hopefully we get some warmer weather, calmer winds coming and we'll be able to get out there and get a lot more videos for you guys. If you like the channel, subscribe to it, share it with your friends and we'll keep it all growing. And as always, thank you very much for watching guys and we will see you in the next video. Later.